In a bid to implement programs that will stem the tide of sexual and gender-based violence in the Anglican Communion Higher Institution, the Anglican Compassionate and Development Initiative, ACADI, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Gender Mobile Initiative, a non-governmental organization at the St. Martyrs House, Gudu Abuja. Akadi being the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion faith-based organization has implemented a gender-based violence project across the communion, hence the collaboration to prevent the tide of sexual and gender-based violence. Signing the MOU between the two organizations, the personal assistant to the primate, Variable Laime Fatusi, and the executive director, Gender Mobile Initiative, Omoumi Rotimi, appreciated the primate church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the most reverend Dr. Henry Ndokuba, for his support and encouragement. The Akadi team have been implementing the gender-based violence project across our communion across the country. We just finished the first year of the gender-based violence project uh, of Akadi, uh, sponsored by Ford Foundation, where we worked with 25 dioceses of the Church of Nigeria. While implementing that first phase of that program, we discovered a gap and the gap is in working with schools. We realize that we need to do more with our schools. We need to work with our schools, which is not the core of the Ford Foundation project, but part of the fallout and takeaway in the uh, Ford Foundation project. And so having a gender mobile initiative come along, they visited us, they expressed interest in working with us and partnering with us in that area. They work in the area of sexual uh, assault and all that. So we, we work with gender-based violence, which is broader. Sexual assault is just one aspect of gender-based violence. And so we have a common ground to work together. And so we agreed to work in our schools, the schools of the Agrican Communion. The friends of Assisi College of Theology and College of Education, and then St. Paul's University, Oka, uh, Ajay Krada University in Oyo. We intend to work with all these schools to implement uh, the program uh, by the grace of God. So we thank God for what God has done and we are trusting God that God will use this partnership to impact the life of many who have become survivors of gender-based violence in our nation. The world has, you know, witnessed the global reckoning of perpetrators of sexual and gender-based violence, particularly in environments characterized by power asymmetry. And unfortunately, our learning environments are becoming increasingly unsafe for learners and even for educators. And so that's birthed, you know, the initiative to collaboratively work towards ending sexual and gender-based violence. And you'd agree with me that um, faith and culture leaders, they play a pivotal role in addressing sexual and gender-based violence. There is a place of adverse social norms that continue to sustain sexual and gender-based violence. So that in itself, you know, made this um, venture or this endeavor really thrilling for us as an organization. Because we know that culture and tradition play an important role. So when we have organizations like Akadi, which is faith-based, coming forward to lend their voice and to not just lend their voice but be actively involved in prevention efforts. It means a lot to us. And you'd see that, you know, sooner than you think, other religious bodies, other faith-based organizations would also join um, the, the train to become norm entrepreneurs who are also keenly invested in this effort. So we really look forward to a mutually rewarding partnership. And we know that beyond the tenure of this partnership, we will still do great work together with Akadi. And even beyond learning environments, I'm sure that this partnership would still, you know, transcend beyond learning environments to accommodate broader communities so that our communities can be safe, our churches can be safe, and our learning environments can be safe.